What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health but today we're doing something different. But anyways, if you're new here and you're into mental health like I am actively trying to improve my own mental and emotional well-being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I was going to put this video on my second channel um, just because I didn't really feel like it fell into the realm of the main channel, but I feel like this is such an important topic for the YouTube community, and there needs to be more awareness around this, that I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna put it on my main channel, try to get hopefully more eyeballs on this situation, and I hope you share it, and if not my video, share some of the videos from the other people I'm going to mention in this video. Um, but this is about a creator named Susie Lou. I don't know her. Um, I have nothing against her as a, as a human being, aside from this situation because it's really messed up. So long story short, she's taking down a lot of videos. She is flagging them for harassment and bullying. And these are commentary videos. Now check it out. As somebody who is all about mental health and trying to not be a dick to people unnecessarily, like I am not, I, I don't agree with cyberbullying. Like that stuff is, is not good. I have an, uh, an 11 year old son. Um, I get worried about that with him. He's an, uh, a gamer, you know, um, kids are on social media these days. Luckily my son's not. So I'm adamantly against um, cyberbullying. But there is a difference between cyberbullying and criticism, okay? And what's happening is Susie Liu is taking down videos that are criticizing her and then more videos are going up criticizing her for taking down videos criticizing her. And I don't know what it is and I don't wanna play into any conspiracy theories, but she, she does have a YouTube representative that she can contact because most of us wouldn't even be able to do that, but we shouldn't be doing that anyways. And I, I decided to make this video because another YouTube creator by the name of John Swan, he made a very in-depth, about 30 minute video about Susie Liu and her entire history of what's been going on and taking down videos and everything. And for those of you who don't know, a lot of you do because it's been, you know, it's been in the conversation for a long time. Um, it's fair use. Ethan Klein of H3H3 Productions, he had that whole lawsuit that was supposed to kind of set the precedent for fair use. And basically, I'm not gonna read the definition, the legal definition for you, but fair use is taking content and either comment, uh, commenting on it or doing like a parody of it or transforming it in some different way than what it would originally was. This is to protect the creator of that content so somebody isn't just stealing your work, right? The hard work that you put in, and remember this word, hard work. So nobody could steal the hard work that you put in and make money off of it when you created that. But this is, completely different when it falls under fair use, when somebody is using clips, right, to discuss it. Have any of you watched the Danny Gonzalez video on his second channel recently, where he, he criticized this local Chicago uh, radio show that is, it was just a funny video like Danny Gonzalez makes, and one of the radio show hosts was saying that legal is gonna, they're gonna slap them with legal, right? Well, they can't because it's fair use, right? So although May, uh, Danny might've made some income from it, it was fair use because he transformed the content and he was commenting on it, right? And that's exactly what John Swan did, but it was taken down. So like I said, I am all for um, claiming videos and copyright claims and all that to protect us creators. I've had people just take my videos, re-upload them to a different channel, take my thumbnail and everything, right? But this is fair use. And listen, the reason why it bothers me so much is John Swan is an amazing, creator, an amazing creator. Like just go watch any of his videos, watch any video by this dude. And the editing is just, it makes me feel dumb. It makes me feel lazy. I'm like, damn. So I can only imagine the amount of work that this kid put into that video for her to just take it down. Like that is what upsets me the most, okay? Like if we're gonna dive into the psychology of human nature, 
right? Uh, and, and motivation, something that kills your motivation is when you create something and then it's destroyed. They've done psychological studies about this. That'll be saved for another video. But like John Swan actually seems to be taking it all right from what I could see on Twitter. But that's what upsets me. He put in so much work and she has taken it down for harassment and bullying. And it's not, it's criticism. That's what it is. So I'll end with this. Some of you who have been around for the last year or so, um, I've had people, I've had John Swan criticize me and what I do. I've had creators like Nicholas DiOrio criticize me and what I do. Um, a lot of people from that little group criticize me and what I do, but I would never in a million years flag their content for harassment and bullying. And here's why. People are entitled to their opinions. I don't have to agree with them. I don't have to like them, right? But until it crosses a line of like slander, it's totally fair game. Somebody can say that guy Chris is a fat bearded idiot, right? People can say he is a danger to society. People can say whatever the hell they want. That is their opinion, right? And some of it is fair criticism, some of it's not. But at the end of the day, this is a public platform and here's the thing. It, it sets a terrible precedent to take down commentary videos because then you have people like Susie Lou who can just run free and do whatever they want, all right? Like if you go check out her channel, she she's doing more of a copyright infringement, like leaning more towards the non-fair use side than anybody's videos she's taken down because she does anime reactions with very minimal commentary and very minimal editing, all right? So like, if you wanna criticize me, go for it. We all need to be criticize, able to criticize for uh, each other. Like this is one of the reasons why we have freedom of the press because when you don't have people calling out certain behaviors, terrible things happen. People can create their own little community, create this own little echo chamber. They can do awful things and nobody knows what's going on because people like Susie Lou will take those videos down. All right, this video is way longer than I thought it would be. I was hoping to keep it like five minutes. But anyway, spread awareness about this. And like I said, I don't care if you share this video, but at least go check out some of the stuff like John Swan is talking about it. His video got taken down. Nicholas DiOrio, he has a video he made, I think last year and he's coming out with a new one. Bo Blacks, he made a video on this. Keemstar just tweeted about this. Uh, Tipster News, he talked about this. He had one of his videos taken down. Uh, the Quartering, and uh, I'm not a fan of The Quartering, but he's talking about this. And here's the thing, you're seeing people who disagree with each other in the commentary community all talking about this because it really hurts the YouTube community. So find some videos about this subject, share them, tweet them. And like, I'm not a fan of like tagging YouTube to try to make something happen, but if somebody can abuse this system and they have somebody inside at YouTube, this is something that YouTube needs to be aware of. So do whatever you can to help spread awareness about this thing, all right? I'm gonna shut my dumb face, like this video, subscribe. I'll see you next time.